What's up, everybody?
Hi, Denise. Oops, wrong button. Struggling today, I muted myself. Uh, we'll start in about two to three minutes, so grab some water if you need it. And I'm back. I'm making my wife a birthday dinner. So I'm kind of making sure nothing is going to burn while I'm teaching. So see lots of regulars in here. Is, any, is there any anyone new to class? What am I making? Um, I've got, what the hell is it? Um, mushroom pasta, and then I made some caprese. So like tomato and mozzarella, and then, um, yeah, I think that's it. I know. It's our, we, we do, we both do a cheap meal once a week, so it's our let's eat all the food day. So. Yeah, I made a, I made a, a chocolate trifle for dessert. I can do a lot of things, so <laughs> I just didn't want to announce that to the group that is about to exercise. But yes, there will be cake. <laughs> what time is it? You know what I mean? All right, so I say once I get my timer ready that we start. So today we are going to do um, kind of an upper body and lower body split. So we're going to hit both pretty much evenly. Uh, we're gonna lay off a bit of the core stuff today because we did 40, I think it was 45 minutes yesterday of strict core, so we don't wanna overdo that. So, uh, whoop, let me close my email. Excellent point. Okay, now we're good. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, let's get started. So uh, like I said, we're going to do a little bit of everything here. So we want to get the upper body and the, oh, that's too far, legs equally warm. So we're just going to start with our shoulder circles. I'm just taking them backwards. You can take them forward if you want. 
<clears throat> so Monday we did uh, pretty much a little bit of everything, including abs. Tuesday we did heavy, heavy upper body, right? Was it legs? You know, I think it was legs actually. Uh, and then yesterday we did all core and today we're doing upper body, lower body split. So you'll notice my circles are a little bit bigger here. I'm gonna take it backwards again. I'm just gonna go a tiny bit faster. Take it forward again. Sweet, we're gonna go right into our squats. Nice and easy here. Still feeling it from Tuesday. Oh no. Yeah, Tuesday we did lots of plyometrics. So jump squats, jumping lunges, super fun. So slow and controlled here, coming down. We're just getting warm, so this shouldn't be booty to the ground. <clears throat> About 15 seconds, and we're going to take it down to the floor. And one more. Sweet. We're going to take it to our back. We're going to go right into traditional bridges for about 45 seconds here. Hips up, squeeze booty, and back down. That's it. If you want to stay up in the bridge throughout 45 seconds, you can. If you want to do reps, you can do that as well. About 15 seconds. I use the exhale as I lift. Sweet, we're gonna flip it around to all fours for our staple. Gotta do it to warm up the back, right? Four bird dogs, five second holds. And we switch it up. Again, if you haven't done these before, you're new, these are opposite arm, opposite leg raises. Focusing on the lengthening, not the height. So I need to remind myself to reach further. Uh. Oh, one more on each side. And one more on the left. And right, I suppose, left arm. Nice, we're gonna come back to our feet. We're gonna bring the hands across the chest and back. And then we'll get right into the workout. So I say we start with the lower body, get the lower body work out of the way. We're gonna try to do between 45 seconds and a minute on all of the movements today. Um, and again, I know with the push-ups, it's going to be a little different, so we'll probably jump to reps on some of those. So keep that in mind. Cool. Grab a small sip of water if you need it. I always need it. All I do is drink water. Too much, probably. Okay. So uh, like I mentioned, we are going to do between 45 seconds and a minute on everything. For our lunges to start, we're going to go for a minute. Okay, so we're gonna do forward and reverse lunges, okay? I'm gonna stick to just the right side for now. So I'm gonna step forward on the right, drop, back into center, right side still. Step back, drop, forward. Okay, and I'm sticking to this side. Let's do it. So I'm not switching to that other side, but I am going forward and backwards. Twenty seconds left, and then we'll switch to that other side. 
<clears throat> I don't know. For some reason, I always want to get the upper, the uh, lower body out of the way. I don't know. I think I just like the upper body stuff more. We'll do one more backwards here, reverse. Sweet. And without much break, we're going to go other side. So left leg, yes. Wait, yes. Jesus. And now left leg steps back. See, I do it too. <clears throat> Same timing. I feel like I'm doing this backwards. Whatever. <clears throat> Slow and control. We got twenty five out seconds. Ah, oh, what is with my balance today? One more forward and back. And straight down. Sweet. Shake it out. We're going to go into our uh, curtsy lunge here next. So for this one, my left leg is going to cross behind, well past the ankle line here. Straight down, back to center. Okay, and then we are going to stick to this same leg here. 30 seconds each side. Steps back and across, drop, center. Same side. Step back and across, woo, down, center. My hips are squared at the, the end of the movement to the beginning. Step back and across. Make sure you're taking a big step back, otherwise it kind of comes out at a pretty weird angle here. You don't want to do a shallow step on this one. I'm going to go hiking tomorrow, so hopefully my legs are not torched. We'll see. <clears throat> one more on this side, then we'll switch. Clean, switch it up. So now my right leg comes back and across, back to center. Right leg back and across. Woo. Take your time here. It's easy to just drop to the floor there, right? So control coming down. Step drop. Center. Drop. Center. Drop. Center. Three more should do it. Keep it even. Two more. Uno mas. Sweet. Shake it out. We're going to go right into our regular squats, just like we did with the warm up, but we're trying to get a little bit lower here. Okay? So, one minute on these squats, I'm trying to take it lower here. Let's do it. Oh, God. So, I'm thinking about the depth on the squat now. Ooh. Right, you don't always have to get, like you might not be able to get as low as me here. And that's, a lot of factors are involved in that, but typically it's a flexibility issue. So don't feel like you need to go as low as I am. I want you to go as low as you comfortably, key word, can. And we're going to get two more in, a little over time, that's okay. Whew. And last one. Nice. Shake it out a bit. Whew. So uh, next up, we're going to do a squat and a lateral leg lift. Now I have to do this from the side, but I will show you from this direction first. Same exact thing, you're going to squat, but as you come up, your leg lifts out to the side. Think about when you're doing this lifting, not kicking. You're not like, yeah, lift it. Okay, but I'm going to go sideways. Otherwise, I'm going to kick the TV. And I love this thing. So one minute, you are going to be switching sides here. So you're going to squat as you come up, lift. Squat, lift. Remember, lift, don't swing. Oh. 
Oh, my butt. And you should feel that in your glutes as you're doing that side lift. Oof. more. One more on each side. And last one. And squeeze. Sweet. Shake it out. Next up, we are going to go into a, uh, yeah, we're going to do a static lunge. So actually, you know what? I'm going to come back to that because it's, it's mean to do right now. So we'll do a split lunge. So it's also called a split squat. So take that reverse lunge position and stick to this side. The left leg is the only one working right now. Straight down, straight up. I'm not switching, okay? Now let me show you from the side here for a sec. It's important that I'm not bouncy here. I'm not like this. <laughs> I see that a lot. Control. Anyway, 30 seconds each side. Let's go. Control. Gently tap the floor. You don't have to touch the floor though. If you've got the range of motion and the control, go for it. You burn quite a bit on the quadriceps here in that left leg. Let's get two more with time. And last one, and ow. Switch it up. Big step back, get settled first. Eh, this feels funky. There we go, cool. 30 seconds, straight down, straight up. Do whatever you want with your hands. I tend to do that like ninja move. I don't know why, it's just a habit. <clears throat> well, I'm going a little too fast, so again, remember slow. It feels like I'm talking to myself, like reminding myself, like saying it out loud to myself, like, come on, dude, slow down. <sighs> Three more should do it. <sighs> Two more. And last one. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, let me move these things before I forget. So next we're going to go into our sumo squat. So remember here, that is the wide stance. Turning the feet out more here. I'm not totally turned out, but I do have a wider stance, okay? We're gonna lower in two, hold for three. Okay, so it's down in one, two, hold for one, two, three, back up. All right, one minute, let's do it. One, two, three. You should be feeling that a lot more in your inner thighs here now. Oh, I did that too fast. Sorry. One, two, hold for one, two, three, back up. One, two, hold for one, Two, three. <clears throat> so really settling into the depth on this squat here. <clears throat> Four more. <clears throat> Two more. And last one. Wow. Good job, y'all. Next up, we're going to go to the dreaded wall sit. And again, we are going to go for a minute here. So wall sits, one minute. Let's do it. 
Time starts right now. Let's go. Head and shoulders on the wall. Make sure you're pressing your heels through the floor. I don't want to see you on your toes. Press your heels through the ground. Close your eyes and zone out if you need to. Try to keep your shoulders on the wall. Fight that burn. Twenty, twenty seconds. <laughs> Ah, uh, little lower, folks. Ooh, ooh. Ten seconds. Oh my God. Three, two, one. Time. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Next up, we're going to go into our decline lunge. So I'm going to pull my table over. All right. So if you've never done these with me here, you can always just put your foot on top of a couch, a chair, whatever it may be, a person, whatever works. Okay, uh, 30 seconds on each leg here. Taking my foot back. Okay, depending on your surface and your feet, if you have socks on, shoes, any of that. It doesn't feel super comfortable for me right now, so I'm going to go toe. Ah, I'm not going to do that. 30 seconds each side. Let's go. Quite a bit harder here because of the increased range of motion. And plus you're balancing, right? So I'm going to look forward, otherwise I'm going to fall. <laughs> Get low on that lunge, right? Be mindful of your front knee. Your front knee shouldn't be crossing over the toe line. Two more. Last one. Oh, God. Check it out. You ready to go on the other side? Get the foot and the hips. In the right spot. All right, 30 seconds. Here we go. Oh, okay, I'm back up. I almost fell. Actually, I almost went too low that I, could, I wouldn't have been able to get back up. 15 seconds. Let's all get one more perfect one in. Wow. Nice job. I'm going to take a little water break. A little swig. So next up, we're going to go into a skier squat. So let's be close into a calf raise. So feet are close. Looks good. I'm gonna come down as low as I comfortably can. Back up. As I come up, we calf raise and back down. That calf raise sucked. Ignore that. Calf raise and then down. So make sure you pause it on the calf raise at the top there. Okay, here we go. Whew. See, it is kind of like skiing, right? Yeah. I only skied once and I got really angry. <laughs> So, maybe another time. Which is weird because I used to skateboard, so like my balance is somewhat okay. As I fall. I don't know. So hopefully you're feeling a difference on these. You're probably not able to get as low. It's a bit more quad dominant here, less glute activation. So you're down here skiing, and then you're coming off the jump. Whoa. Is that what that looks like? I don't know. We'll get one more after this. Last one. Come on up. Hold that cap raise. Uh, and down. 
All right, next we're going to go into our more static movements. We've got uh, three more movements, then we'll move on to upper body. So now we're going to go static uh, squat. So we're just going to hold our squat at the bottom. So any stance you want, I typically go a little bit wider, so kind of almost to the sumo, almost traditional. And we're going to hold for 30 seconds, all right? Here we go. Hold it. We should be able to get pretty low based on how much we've done in this 22 minutes so far. Sit low into that squat. Kind of like you're a catcher, right? So I'm really trying to sit back and hold this position. I'm trying to drop my shoulders and pull my shoulder blades together. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Uh, did you hear that crack? I'm going to hold it in now. All right. Um, next up, we're going to go static lunge. Then we'll do our single leg squat, and then we'll take a little break. So for the static lunge, I am stepping back into that reverse lunge position, and I'm going to hold my knee about an inch off the ground and just hold it. So not resting on the ground, you're holding about an inch off the floor. Okay, 30 seconds each side. If you need a little assist, you can always just place your hand on something, right? Here we go. Oh no, this burns a lot. Ah. Try to pull your shoulders back, try not to round too far forward, right? Oh, I'm shaking, 10 seconds. <laughs> I'm making weird noises. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know why I'm making such weird sounds today. It's like a demon. All right, step your leg back. Other side. Get settled. Here we go. 30 seconds. Oh, this is way worse. Brace the burn. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god. Oh, that was so much worse on that side. Uh, I'm frozen. Anywho, next up, single leg squat. So I'm going to sit on the table here. Uh, so you don't have to use the table if you don't want. You can hover the leg behind or in front, but I'm going to use the table. So I'll start with my left leg. So my right leg hovers. I just sit slow and controlled. Come back up. Okay, let's do it. So definitely a little bit of balance here. Obviously, if you need to plant that opposite foot or use your hands to help get up, you can. Probably the most important movement we can really do. <clears throat> Should feel some activation in the glutes there. We'll get three more with the time. Woo. And two more. Woo. Last one. Woo. Switch sides. All right, so that ended up being about 10 reps, so let's just do that. Here we go. Whoa, that sucked. One. Two. <clears throat> Three, I am struggling on this side. Four. Five. Oh, I know why the table is moving when I sit on this side. Keep... <laughs> it's like, what is happening? Or it's an earthquake. Could be that. Uh, three more. Uh, two more. Uh, and last one, folks. Woo! Oh, God. And grab some water, take a break, then we move on to the upper body.
So hopefully your legs are feeling toasty here. Mine are. All right. Uh, is there anything I missed? Nope. It was everything. Cool. So when you're ready, we are going to start with our incline push-ups. So we're starting with a bit easier ones and then working our way up. Okay. So incline push-ups is the shortest range of motion. So I'm going to put my hands against the surface here. If, of course, you need a little assist, you just drop to your knees, right? All right, but I do want to have, I want to play with the rep range on things. So let's go for 15 reps here on my count. Only way to get better is to continuously try and do more, right? So we're going to do that. All right. Hands up on top. 15 reps. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, last one. 15. Whew. Goodness gracious. Whew. So we're going to be on a booty here. Let me scooch. We're going to do two uh, tricep exercises here, just back to back. Um, so what we're going to do to start is just a traditional dip, but we're not dipping on anything. So uh, and remember, if you've never done this before, it looks kind of goofy. It looks like nothing is happening. But when you're doing it, it is. So my booty's off the ground. Bend at the elbows, press. Bend at the elbows, press. Okay? So we're gonna try to do uh, 10 reps of those, and then we're gonna go right into legs flat, butt on the ground. Bring the hands close together into a diamond. Bend at the elbows, lean back, press. Bend back, press. Okay? So 10 and 10 here. What are we doing? Oh, dips. <laughs> All right. 10 reps. One. Oh, let's do 15. It's great. Two. Three. Four. It should be burning already. Five. Six. Triceps and shoulders. Seven. Eight. Ah. Uh, nine. Ten. Five more. Eleven. Twelve. 13, two more, 14, 15. Take about five to 10 seconds, shake it out. Get your body in position for our next. Remember, you're making the diamond shape with the hands. Let's go. One, oh my God. Two, three, four, six. Oh, I'm on fire. Seven, eight, nine, six more, ten, five more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, two more, fourteen, last one, be a little lower, fifteen. Ah, oh. oh. brutal, right? If you're back here, I should feel like they are about to fall off. Actually, it's hard to get my water bottle, so that's a good sign. Okay. Uh, so now we are going to go into regular push-up. Okay. So I'm just going to have you do 10 reps. So I'm going to bump the repetitions down, actually. But I want you to get lower here, all right? And we're going to pause for one second at the bottom. So full range of motion, pause for one at the bottom, not chilling on the floor, hovering off the ground, and back up, okay? Um, plus, I know your triceps are still burning, so that's the way it works, right? Okay, so 10 reps on the push-up this time. So a little bit wider stance here. Hand placement, I should say. Remember to drop your knees if you need to. 
Okay, 10 reps, one second pause at the bottom. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, two more, nine, last one, 10. Oh my God, and relax. Woo -wee. So next up, we are gonna go in back to school, uh, Jesus. Back to triceps. So we're actually gonna do a body weight one here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be down on my knees here and I'm gonna round forward. So see, I'm, I'm, I'm moving my whole upper body forward, but with control, I'm not like, uh -huh. right? You're gonna straighten your arms and you're gonna turn your palms backwards. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the wall behind you back. So I am bending my elbows slightly, but I'm not doing it full range of motion on that. Okay, it's just a short, and again, the goal is you're pushing the wall away, okay? Little tricep burner, let's go. Oh no, it hurts already. It's amazing what you can feel without weight, right? So I'm trying to keep my elbows in, and again, I'm pushing the wall away. Ooh, what? Why does this hurt so bad? Oh no, 20 seconds still. Push the wall away. Oh my lord. And then you're gonna hate me, but we're gonna do close grip push-ups. One more here. Sweet. Next, we're gonna go into close grip push-ups. We're just gonna do five reps, then we're gonna hop back into those extensions. Okay? As always, drop to your knees if you need to. Elbows in nice and tight here. Five reps. Let's go. One. Two. Three, two more. Four, last one, folks. Five, oh, almost didn't make it. <laughs> okay, and right back to those burners here. Let's go. I know it sucks. So I'm trying to do it a tiny bit faster now here. So a little swing is okay since we're thinking speed now. It's like a pulse. Now I'm moving my upper body too much. It looks kind of goofy. Try not to do what I was doing with the bounce. Oh, Whew. 10 seconds. Whew. Whew. Oh, five, close grip. Right to it, let's go. One, two, three, two more. Oh, last one. Oh, I had to put my serious face on for that one. Agua. Ooh wee. They're actually pretty dead at this point. Holy moly. Take a little break, then we're gonna go into traditional dips over here. So I'm gonna take a seat. So we're going to do 10 reps, uh, regular old dips here. So remember folks, hands by the side of the bum, walk the feet away, straight down, straight up, elbows in. Let's go. Push those elbows into your chest, towards your chest. Does that make sense? Three, four, five. Six, four more. Seven, eight, two more. Nine, last one. Ten, nice job. You're gonna come up to your feet. We're gonna do a little shoulder burner here. So start making those circles with your shoulders. Ooh, I'm gonna come down to my knees. A little bit more core activation when you're down on your knees here. I'm gonna go backwards. And I'm trying to move fairly quick and my arms are nice and long. I'm gonna start pressing. 
burn in the shoulders. Your arms should feel fairly heavy at this point. I'm not even too worried about full extension. I just want you to press up towards the roof with some speed. Arms out, hold it. Rotate up, little pulses, short pulses here. Pull the shoulder blades down and back. Woo. Back to your presses. Oh my God. Time. Back to dips, another 10. Then we go back to those shoulder exercises. This is brutal. How are we doing time? Ooh, we're getting there. Okay, anywho, another 10 dips. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, 10. Woo! Shoulder circles. I'm just starting backwards. You don't have to go backwards. Just start. Taking it forward now. Again, your arm should be feeling pretty heavy at this point, right? Press. Now, I'm not too worried about the speed. I just want you to fully extend. So you're pressing with a little bit more intention this time. Jesus. Circles, excuse me, pulses. I can't speak anymore. So remember, I got my palms facing the roof, kind of like I'm raising the roof in a really weird, creepy way. Presses. Slow and steady, full range of motion. 10 seconds left. One more. That was brutal. Grab a small sip of water if you need it. And then, want to come say hi? My, my wife's going to come say hi. No, I'm wearing pajamas. That's okay. No. Never mind, she's not. <laughs> she said she's in pajamas, so. Fair enough. Uh, anywho, what we're going to do next is our kneeling skull crusher. So we're going back to the triceps. So, again, on a chair, on a table, whatever it may be. Place your hands on the table, walk your knees back. Bye. <laughs> and remember here, I'm gonna bend at my elbows, watch the head, and press, okay? If you wanna make your life a little easier, excuse me, oh my God, excuse me. Bring your knees closer. If you wanna make it harder, walk your knees backwards, okay? We're gonna go 10 reps, then we're gonna go into our cobras and so on and so forth. Okay, 10 reps here, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, two more, nine, last one. So now we're going to lay on the ground here. Let's scoot back a little bit. So I'm going to get into my cobra position. So my hands are right by the side of my chest. I'm going to press up halfway. Sorry, I kick the blind. It's very bright. And then down. Okay, so remember I'm coming up halfway. Elbows in and down. All right, 10 reps. Let's go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, two more, nine, ten. Holy mother of God. <sighs> we need about ten seconds, then we do those two again. I'll do my cobras in a weird a different spot because that was awkward with the light and the blinds. Anywho, ten reps again. Skull crushers, try to take a little lower if you can. All right, folks, let's go. One. Two. 
five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, try to take it a little lower, ten, uh, okay, and then we are going to go back to our cobras, so, oh my lord, remember arms down by the side, right by your chest, legs stay flat, push up halfway, and down, 10 reps, one, two, three, Six, seven, three more, eight, two more, nine, ten, and relax. Holy moly. So next we're gonna do one more chest exercise, and then I wanna do a couple minutes of our lower back exercises, because it's important to me that we, we get those in as much as possible, and then we'll stretch. Whew, that was brutal. What did I say we're doing? Ah, push up. So we're gonna do our static push up. So remember that is where we're staying at the bottom of the push up, hovering about an inch off the ground, and we're staying there for 30 seconds. This is a very challenging movement, okay? So as always, drop to your knees if you need to. Oh, all right, folks. Best for last. 30 seconds, static push up. Let's go. Fight those shakes. 20 seconds. I want you to finish the push up at the end. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Oh. Holy mother. Nice job, y'all. Let's go into our lower back strengthening. So we're gonna jump back to our bird dogs, which we started with, right? Oh, now we're gonna go into those a little bit longer. We're gonna go 10 second holds here, okay? Opposite arm, opposite leg, reach and hold, 10 seconds. Switch it up. Whoa. Feel pretty nice after all of what we just did here. One more on each side. Switch, last one. We're gonna go flat on the tummy here. This. All right, I'm gonna do two rep, two sets here. First, arms out by the side. <clears throat> Lift and hold for five. Back down. Lift and hold for five. Pulling everything together, shoulders, booty, all that. <laughs> Back down. Fifteen seconds here, so we'll get two more in. Last one. And relax. Do one more variation here. As always, I just can't talk during this one. So I'm gonna lift everything up. My arms are gonna be out in front. I'm gonna lift, pull, push down and then repeat, okay? So we're gonna go for a minute of that. It's gonna be quiet. I just I can't do it. I can't talk during this one. All right, let's go. Thirty seconds. Whew. 
Let's get two more. <clears throat> Last one. And time. All right, folks, let's stretch it out. I got hair all over me. Ah. So I'm going to use the wall here. So let me raise this. I'm going to stretch my chest and my shoulders. So I'm going to come over to the wall. Oh, my God. Jesus. So I'm going to place my right hand on the wall. And I'm going to, so if you can't see that, my hand is flat against the wall like this. It's about shoulder level. And I'm going to turn the opposite way. Be very careful. It's easy to overstretch here. You feel this in your chest and shoulders. 30 seconds each side. Again, please be careful. Oh my Lord. The woes of having carpet. Switch it up. So left hand on the wall. Switch your body, your hips, everything the opposite way. A little bit tighter here. Ah, uh, Ionix. She doesn't care. Nice. Go ahead and pull the elbow across the chest for all that tricep work we did today. So a nice bite across the elbow, pull the opposite direction. As always, make sure you're strongly pulling here, right? Switch directions. Left arm bites the right elbow. I'm going to turn my head the other way. Should feel very nice after all this. It's hard to believe we've been doing this almost a month and a half. Crazy. Down on the side of the head, reach the arm down and across. So I'm reaching down at an angle. Ooh, that's the oven. That's annoying. Okay, it stopped. <laughs> Switch sides. Reach it down. We're going to go back to that across the chest movement we started with, but even like more loose in the arms. Cool beans. We're going to take it down to the floor. We're going to go into all fours. And we're going to push into, oh, ow. head up, arch the back, head down. Around the back, cat cow. Head down, round. Head up, arch. And now you're going to sit back in the child's pose. So bring your butt toward your heels. And then as you get to that position, you can walk your hands forward. And the goal is to just gradually walk them forward, but staying low toward your butt. Does that make sense? And hold it for 30. You should feel a nice stretch in your lats too. About 10 more seconds. And time. That is it, everybody. 50 minutos. That's all I got. You're welcome, Leslie. Appreciate it. <laughs> nice job, everyone. You are free to go. <laughs> Arms are jelly. I know, mine too. Thank you, appreciate it. You're welcome, you're welcome. If you have any questions, I will stick around and answer. It's a happy birthday. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you put it in the oven, right? Yeah, but the timer will set for longer than 10 minutes. So I don't know if it's 
Yeah, it's supposed to be warm tomorrow, so I'm gonna go kind of early. Sweet. All right, everyone, have a good night.